Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Well, last time we completed the last of our side quests, and we successfully got Cyrus's honor back to him, and we got Frog as strong as he can possibly be, giving him the best weapon in the game for him, and upgraded his hero's medal and all that good stuff. So, what I want to do now is just do one final confirmation at the end of time, and then we're going to tackle the last area of the game. End it in the end of time, real quick. Let's go ahead and get off. No, er. I want to get off, please. Thank you. Whee! There we go. And now let's just double check. Let's talk to the old man, and I think we got everything taken care of. Huh. <laughs> yes, the black omen. Actually, remember that black omen. We'll be, uh. Yeah, see, so everything's, uh. He has, he has no more, he has nothing more for us, so no, he gives us no more side quests. And if you talk to the people, um, yeah, so if you talk to all the people, um, they basically have nothing left. So we're all good to go. So let's go ahead and heal up. There we go. And there's one more thing I'm going to do before we head out. Okay, now before going on, there's one more thing that we can do. Uh, but before doing that, let's go over our setup for this part. Okay, so I've got a party of Chrono, Frog, and Marley. Now, oops, let's go over everything here. So I've got that Moonbeam armor on Chrono, because it will boost his magic defense. And that's really what I care about most in this battle, is magic defense. I've also put the Golden Stud on him, because he's going to be actually our main support of attack, and he's going to be using magic attacks, and we'll go over that here in a little bit. Also, I have Chrono because his speed is really high, and that is crucial for this battle. Frog I've got with the white plate so that he can absorb some element. Basically, he's going to absorb an element. Pick one, it doesn't really matter. And I've got the flea bust here to increase his magic defense. For Marley, I've got the prismatic dress for auto barrier and the silver stud to reduce MP costs for her. She's going to be on support, healing, and then finally uh, offensive magic attacks. Now, it is crucial that everybody has a vigilance hat for status immunity for this. Uh, and there's a very important reason for that. Okay, so we've got that party. Now if we go in here... Whoa! Speccio's gotten a major upgrade and he looks pissed! <laughs> How you doing there? Uh, Speccio, good to see you, man. Alright, for some practice? Hell yeah! Alright, let's do it. Alright, now it's time to take on Speccio in his almost final form. Now, Chrono's one job is to cast Luminaire. And that's all he's going to be doing. This should deal a good amount of damage. All right, very good, that's good enough. Okay, Frog is immediately gonna go into heal mode. Let's get that going. Basically, if you can survive the first two rounds of this, you're gonna be okay. Oh, by the way, that first attack that, that, um, that Specchio used um, can also cause Confuse. So that's why you need to have those, the, uh, so that's why you need to have those uh, status immunity hats, those vigilant hats on. Okay, now Marley's first thing that she's gonna do is get haste going on everybody. Frog first, because Frog's gonna need to be healing. There you go. Now if you're lucky, okay, hopefully we'll survive this. Survive this please, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Um... I'm actually going to heal up. Uh, let's go ahead and use a high potion on Marley there. Basically, you want to get your buffs established. I say buffs. Basically, you want to get everything established, and then we can start attacking Speccio. All right, and that includes haste. Marley's going to haste herself next. See, Frog is going to get another turn in to cast heal again. Frog's one job is going to be to cast heal, and sometimes he can get heal in twice if you're lucky. And if you need to use a lapis at all, that's totally fine. Yeah, so get haste going on, everybody. You want to you keep everybody's HP above 400 at all times. With Chrono, you want to try and keep it above 500 at all times. And there you go. There we go. Very good. And get heal going again. Okay, now we'll need to haste Chrono. And then once all your characters are hasted, 
then Marley can actually go on healing duty as well. And it's totally okay to have two characters on heal in healing in this fight. That's totally okay. There you go. Now, now we're ready to do some damage. Luminaire. And just turn more past Luminaire because you don't want to do that. Go. All right. Heal. Yep. Okay, now this is you know, this is the reason that I you can equip an armor. It doesn't really matter which one. Frog is going to get healed for that one, so that's good. Um, and now let's need to do mega healing. Um, now let's just go ice there. We'll be okay. And there you go. Very good. Now back to Chrono's turn. He cast Luminaire. Basically, Specchio can cast. Ooh, that wasn't too good. Uh, Specchio can cast every elemental spell in the game on us. And then he can use that attack, which can cause Confuse. So basically, he's nasty. So Chrono can get, with, with healing, or, I'm sorry, with hasted character, Chrono can get two Luminaires in before Specchio can attack and cause 2,000 damage. And that's the main reason I have him, because he does a lot of damage, and he can get two turns in. Now, if you have some other character that has max speed, and you want to bring him along for Chrono, that's totally fine. Uh-oh. This might be instant death. Ah, I was afraid of that. Ah, I forgot that he had an instant death attack. Um, okay, that's fine. Athenian water. There we go. And she should be auto-hasted. Yep, yeah, now let's use cure two. And Molly's going to have to re-establish haste on herself, and that's totally fine. There you go. Yeah, and now basically Specchio restarts his his AI script. All right, and there you go. Now basically just go all out once everything's been established. The, the great thing about haste is that it lasts for the whole battle, until you, unless your character dies, of course. So Kono's auto always gonna, from this point forward, get two turns in before Specchio gets one, most of the time, no? It doesn't happen all the time, you gotta be kinda quick on your buttons. But, sometimes, but, most of the time that's, gonna, that's how it's gonna work. I can't, I can't remember how much HP Specchio has, I wanna say it's like, close to 20,000? Don't quote me on that. There we go. Man, I'm just gonna turn mode past this. There we go. Probably could have put mer you pro I probably could have put memory control on for this one too. That would have been all right. Okay. Phew. Though if that would have hit Chrono, that wouldn't have been so bad. All right, Luminaire and heal. Marley's hasting herself, I believe. There you go. And that's it. We got him. Woohoo! You suck, Specchio. I guess you only have like 10,000 HP. And that's all there is to it. We are pretty good. And we get the gratuity set. Ooh, that's nice. One magic capsule, one speed capsule, a strength capsule, and ten elixirs. Hell yeah. Nice job, team. And that's how you defeat Specchio in his final form. Very nice. Okay, so now I've made a couple more adjustments to my party, so let's go over that real quick. So I've got Chrono, Magus, and Ayla in my party for this next part. And basically, I've just got the best equipment on everybody. Uh, I've got Chrono back on the Wrath Band, so we're good to go there. Um, and then Magus, of course, is the same setup. And then I put the Prismatic Dress on Ayla, just because, you know, she's going to be in our party. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And now it is time for us to enter the final area of the game. So let's go ahead and take off. And it doesn't really matter where we go. Let's go to 2300 AD, just, just for simplicity's sake. It happens to be right there. Let's go. And where do we want to go? Finally, we want to tackle that big airship in the sky, the Black Omen. And it really doesn't matter which era you board it in, uh, the same result will happen. I just happen to be here in 2300 AD, so let's land here and let's do it. There we go. And if you want to return, you just go over here. But no, we don't want to do that. The box just kind of hanging out down low. We want to keep moving forward. Whoa! It's Queen Zeal! 
Yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen her. Oh, well, I, I mean, yeah, but... Whoa, we'll see about that, queen. All right, I know we've got some laser guard enemies, and I really don't feel like dealing with these guys. Magus, let him have it. Maybe? Wait. Oh, yeah, there's that. Wait, how is it even hitting them? Like, it's it, the blow-up zone was way off. Come on. Wow, these things are fast. Holy cow. There we go. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> nice shot, team. Very good. And no problems there. And a level for Ayla. All right, so let's keep on moving forward. It is firmly sealed. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's see. Why is it not going to let me in? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Come on, why was it not letting me in? Hmm, interesting. Um. Oh, I know why. Um. Uh, because. Uh, the life force had already been drained from the planet. So, um, because the day of Lavos happened in 1999 AD, so they just sealed it right up. So we need to go to 1000 AD. Okay, that's right. Actually, I'm glad that that worked out. I did want to show you that. Okay, so now let's try going into Black Omen here in 1000 AD. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's better. But yet, somehow, the laser guards aren't there. If you destroy the laser... If for the first time you go on the Black Omen, um, doesn't matter which time period, you have to fight those laser guards and get that uh, dialogue with Zeal there. But I guess maybe time doesn't pass in the Black Omen. That's weird. But anyways, let's keep going forward. All right, Queenie, your laser guards couldn't stop me even 1,300 years in the, in the future. Man, your laughing is... If you're going to do that laughing animation, at least laugh like Kefka or something. <laughs> yeah, so if you do it, 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 no matter what era it is, it calculates the amount of time to 999 years, uh, and then that's the figure that you get. So if you do it in 12,000 BC, it says in a mere 11,999 years, so I think that's really funny. Oh, I see. Well, I'll just have to stop Lavos then. How hard could it possibly be? Are we going to have to fight him now? Hey, no. No, we're not. But that thing looks pretty ugly. I don't think so, biatch. I ain't sacrificing myself to nothing. Now it's time for a boss battle against the Mega Mute. Okay, so this is really, really, really simple. The reason that we have Ayla is so that she can charm and start taking stuff. There you go. Good shot, Chrono. And, you know, we're just going to go all out. And we get an elixir, very nice. Yeah, basically I've got... Okay, so we're gonna run into a few different bosses here in this area. There we go, good job. And Dark Mist. And Ayla's gonna basically charm from them. And then... Yeah, pretty good shot there. Let's go to Ayla's turn one more time. Uh, let's see, did I charm from the top one or bottom one before? Uh, I think it was the top one. Let's turn from the bottom one now. And we get another Vigilance hat, the final Vigilance hat in the game that I'm going to need. Now all of my characters will have immunity to status ailments. So that's why I held off on that getting that last Vigilance hat. And there you go. And that's all there is to it. And one boss down. You suck, Mega Mutant. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Oh, shoot. All right, we got a new enemy here, Shieldsman. <laughs> so these are just like the enemies that we fought earlier in the game. Um, where when they... Whoops. As soon as they poke up behind their shield, then you can go after them. There you go. Now we have to give them a 
second wait for him to poke out. Or Chrono can just keep going after him now. That works too. Huh, that works just fine. Very nice. Man, well, our team is just rocking. I love it. Okay, now before going on, let me show you what I've done here. So I rearranged my party, and I put Robo and Marley in there in replace of Chrono and Ayla. And the reason for that is, basically, I want to start getting them tech points. This is the best area in the game overall to start earning techs. And I want to try and get everyone's techs all maxed out. Uh, you know, just for completion's sake. So we've got Robo in there, Magus still needs to get his going with Black Hole there, and Marley has got a lot of techs to go as well. So we can get that going. And basically, as soon as a character maxes out their techs, I'm going to swap them out. Because we're all strong enough that we can defeat anybody in here with ease, especially with Magus. So, there you are. And basically, I just gave them all some equipment, and we're ready to go. So let's keep uh, going on further in the Black Omen and see what we can find. All right. Got a couple enemies here, Martello enemies. Yeah, basically what I would do is just get somebody that can hit anybody and just whoop ass. And if Magus is all full... Oh, oh that didn't finish off. Wow. Um, okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, uh, Ice Tube. And then I guess Laser Spin. Yeah, I figured Bangers would take him out, but... Okay, no big deal. But yeah, just get your... If you want to use your best multi-targeting attacks, you can certainly do that. And, uh... Yeah, just start taking out enemies as you see them, and you should be good to go. Oh, boy. And what do we have here? Fang Beast! Whoa, has, has my HP, but I don't like that too much. Wow, it's a pretty powerful drop. Sort of like that. Good shot, Robo. Yeah, again, just use your most powerful magic attacks. Most powerful, uh... Ooh! Okay, and these guys absorb shadow. Well then. Okay, how about, uh... How about Rapid Fire Fist? That's fine. There you go. Good shot, Robo. And how about some ice, too? So we can start doing a little bit of damage, too. Okay. Oh, boy. Yikes. Uh, let's see. How about... Yeah, because that was... Darn... How about... Let me have a fire, too. That'll work. Survive it! Woo! Yikes. Looks like I'm going to make things interesting on myself here in the Black Omen good. That's kind of how you want it there. Wow. These are not giving up. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess take this one out. Rapid Fire Fist. Surely that will finish him off. There you go. Wow. Uh, okay. I better heal up Magus there. Alright. He's had a love a challenge. That's good. Uh oh. I hope Marley can survive this. Might have to heal her. Oh no. We're good. Go. And we'll just yeah, I'm confused, that's fine. We know that won't work. Now oh, Magus is gonna get to attack again. Sweet. Come on. Really? Wow. They are not making this easy on me. Jeez, okay. It's fine. Alright. Come on, please take him down. There you go. Woo! That was a lot harder than I thought I was, than I thought it was gonna be. But we're getting a lot of gut I good items here, so that's good. Okay, let's <laughs> we we definitely need to heal, heal up after that. Okay, Marley will heal us up. There we go. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and press on. Ooh, a save point. That'll be helpful. We got some more new enemies here. Syncrites. Okay, now hopefully this immune to status element will take care of stop too. Should. Yeah, okay, good. Thankfully, stop counts as a status element. Uh, you know, in some Final Fantasy games it doesn't. There you go. Good job, good job, good job. Uh, how about a little laser spin? And an ice spin. We really need to get a better multi-targeting attack for Robo there. There we 
we go. Again, Robo's not the best character for this part, I don't think, but it will allow him to build up his tech points. Oh, you think your countdown's gonna work on me? I've got Magus, bitch! And there you are! No problems there. Very good. And ro levels for both Robo and Marley. Much needed, for sure. I don't think there's anything up... Oh, there is something up there. The first thing I want to do is go down here and yeah, use this save point for sure. So let's get a shelter going. Should have plenty of those. Yeah. I maybe should have bought some more, but that's okay. All right. And let's see if we've got a new... Should be still the faded hour. Yep. And that should be it for right now. But what other dangers await us here in the Black Omen? And what other tricks does Queen Zeal have up her sleeve? You have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.